the example three is on geometric conjectures. Make a conjecture about the relationship between the segments joining opposite vertices of isosceles trapezoids. Now, let's list some examples for trapezoids, isosceles trapezoids. We know isosceles trapezoids have these uh, two lines over here equal, you know, the legs. So the legs are these two from the base. Now the legs are always equal for isosceles trapezoid. And what is the segment doing? This segment, see the segment that joins the opposite vertices. Now this is a vertex. Uh, it's like an edge where two lines are joining vertex. Opposite to it is over here. So when you draw a straight line over here and over here, you can start measuring these lengths, or you should know this, you know, the diagonals over here of trapezoid, you must always remember are equal. If you measure them, you would get same measure. If this was five centimeters, then this would be five as well. If this is three, this would be three and so on. It's not about the legs. Don't get confused. The legs are obviously equal because they are, they are, they are mentioned it's isosceles. So isosceles trapezoid will have the legs equal, but this segment, so the conjecture would be the segment joining opposite vertices of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Congruent means equal. Now, we, now we are, I just want to clarify one thing. You need to know this figure because you might know already a trapezoid, but isosceles would mean this is equal. And then you should know the segment that connects the opposite vertices is also equal okay so now over here make a conjecture about the relationship between ad and ab if c is the midpoint of ab and d is the midpoint of uh, ac sorry it's a bit confusing if uh, if you just read it straight away let's understand it properly ad and ab okay the relationship between these two if C is the midpoint of AB, so let's draw a straight line. This is A and B. And C is the midpoint, so this is the midpoint. Okay. And D is the midpoint of AC. There's one more point in the middle of, uh, you know, AC. So this is the midpoint of it. So now, what is the relationship between this line AD and AB? So this and this. This small one and this big one. So how you can understand is, okay, let me consider this whole thing to be one. What would be half of this? This would be half, one by two. That is half of one. What is this then? Half of half, that would be one fourth because half of half, when you multiply two and two in the denominator, it will be four, so it's one fourth. So if this is about one centimeter, this is one fourth centimeter or in better understanding, if this is 100 centimeter, one fourth of 100 would mean 25. So this would be 25. So this is the relationship. Why? Because C is the midpoint of AB and D is again another midpoint of AC. So the relationship between AD and AB will always be one fourth or quarter. So that is the conjecture. AD equals one fourth of AB. Let's move on to the next type of problem, example four. Make conjectures from data. Now, over here, you have been given a table of data. The table shows the average price of gasoline in the US for the years 2010 to, uh, through 2018, from 2010 to 2018. Make a conjecture about the price of gas, sorry, price of gas in 2019. Explain how this conjecture is supported by the given data. So now, there are various methods, but just to make it more clear, I've just graphed these and I've uh, clipped the graph over here of points. Now you can see these, when you graph them, you will get these points like this. Now what it shows is this, there's a pattern where it goes up, goes down. Again, it'll go up, go down. It's like you know, like a sine graph or, you know, it's like oscillating. So now this is the data that is given. What is the pattern? It is going up, down, up and down. It always continues that pattern. That is what we can assume or we can guess from the given data. 
there might be anomalies in the sense you know might be stark differences it might go up like this or it might go down that can happen but on average we can guess it's see look at this it'll come down and now it might go up and then again it might come down that is what we can find from this pattern so the data shows oscillating pattern the price increased for many years before before decreasing for many years and now the conjecture for 2019 is most likely that it will increase why 2019 would be just over a year after increasing then it might decrease again so that is our conjecture so these are a few of the examples with the first objective but conjecture in the next videos we will uh, learn the next objective of counter examples. Say, stay tuned and see you in the next video.